All right, so this next demo, we are gonna be using the PDA Net to tether a connection from your iPhone. We're gonna first of all launch the Jolly Fast VNC, and we're gonna actually connect to our iPhone. And uh, when you connect on your iPhone, it's gonna come up with, do you wanna accept this connection? And as you can see, I'm actually at the PDA Net software app. One of the things that I'm fortunately not gonna be able to show you is how to complete this actual setup because at the end of the day, we're already using a connection through the wireless network to show you folks the actual remote desktop of my iPhone. So uh, at this point, I'm gonna just go back to the home screen and uh, installing PDA Net is very straightforward. You just go into Cydia and um, you can either go and just do a search on it you can see there's a huge array of applications, but it is pretty straightforward um, in terms of what the PDA Net does. So if I go along to the search and do a PDA Net, just to give you folks the info, and if I click on that, there you can see it's giving you a little bit more details. It's also telling you that it's uh, hugely popular from the Windows and the Palm OS platforms. Uh, running on the mobile phones for Windows and so forth. And the free version will be provided after 14 days trials expired to register for the full version. You wanna go along to your PDA net and uh, purchase it. But other than that, this is relatively straightforward. We'll go back to the search, you can see there's a huge array of applications that we can install. Very, very different to the standard Apple Mac library of software so if i go along you folks will see that i can well, when i get there still access the apple max app store so effectively running the pda net getting back to what we're meant to be doing there folks it's very very easy in that what we need to do is run the application now i can go along and run that application but it's gonna come up with that same message that you saw a few minutes ago. So if I run the PDA net, it's gonna say it's connected to an existing Wi-Fi connection. In order to use a PDA net, please change your iPhone's Wi-Fi settings to connect to your computer's peer-to-peer -peer ad hoc network and then launch it again. And that's pretty much all you need to do. It will all be working from that point on. There is of course a lot of uh, information on the internet, so just Google it if you have an issue. But at this point, all we'd need to do on an Apple Mac is you go along and choose to create a network. And uh, you create your network, specify the network name. You can use the automatic channel, 11 is a default. Require a password, put your password in. What kind of web key security you want to use. And uh, Bob's your uncle. At that point, you are then good to go. And um, of course, in my instance, I'm gonna be dropping that connection uh, very soon to the actual PDA, the iPhone. But as I've said, folks, this is just a very quick tutorial on using PDA Net for tethering. It's better than a lot of the other apps out there that offer this sort of same functionality because this is gonna act as your access point. Therefore, you don't have to use any kind of proxying tools or anything else. So. Really, really cool to use the PA net. Hopefully you have a lot of fun and we'll be back with more.